So hello everyone in this video we'll be discussing about this uh, Todo project in which uh, basically I have implemented complete Mon stack MongoDB Express, ReactJS and Node.js. So this is a complete full stack application. Uh, it is a to do app basically. Uh, this is not like the other app which we created earlier. So uh, in the last app we only use the react.js and the local storage for basically storing the uh, data of our tasks so basically in this video we'll be discussing or getting an overview of this app what is it basically so in this i have implemented login sign up feature also have implemented the database so let me just show you how it works so this these are two pages of login and register uh, for example this is the login uh, card in which I can log in with my account if I have registered. So let me just register a new account. And uh, let's say I am registering as John. So if I'm registering as John Do, and my password is let's say this one, I can see the password as well. And let's register. So you can see it is registered it is giving us the message and you can see uh, these are pop-ups and all these things were implementing implementing with the help of and design which is a very great react uh, component library so that we can use let me just log in and uh, show you the basic interface which i have so you can see i'm logged in and i'm also getting uh, this at the right side and now the option at the top heading is changed now i have only the my task page and the my uh, the home page which we can see so basically uh, in my task all of your tasks will be available here if you want to create a new task you can create by clicking on this button so a model will appear in which you can uh, write down the information that you want to uh, write for the task basically uh, have, uh, written only two fields or you can add more if you want so for now we'll be just going with the simplest or basically the simple nature of the app uh, in the future videos or in the future lectures we'll be uh, customizing or basically adding more functionality to it uh, in the first version of this app we'll be uh, just creating this basic version of this app and in the next versions we'll be implementing ai features for adding the automated uh, to do task list as well by using OpenAI. Uh, first, let me just give you an overview of this basic application. So, I can add the task, let's say, watch Naruto or let's say Jujutsu Kaisen, and I can write this is a test only. So, I can write this as a test. Okay, so you can see this is uh, created, this card is created and the status is incomplete because we haven't changed the status we can change the status by clicking on this button and we can delete this task by clicking on this button and we can also edit this task first let me just create one more task so let's say it is test one test and something like that so let's say if i want to uh, basically change this task uh, uh, the status this is status of this task so if I want to make it completed so if I check it so this is gone from here so basically it will be shown in the completed list so we have this tab and uh, this is the completed task so all the completed tasks will be available in this uh, section basically or in this categorization now I can switch to the not completed task again and this is the only not completed task if I add some task here so this will be uh, presented in here I can also delete some tasks let's say if I want to delete the tasks which are completed so I can click on click on this button let's say delete task so this task will be uh, deleted and I can go to the not completed task and if I want to edit let's say so I can click on this edit button and uh, change it to something else let's say this is updated let's say okay now you can see it is changing so all 
of these things is working uh, by using the database and the backend API. So we have implemented a complete full stack application. Let me just show you the database as well. So this is the database basically. We have two collections which are to do's which are uh, the collection for our to do list. You can see uh, the other to do list of the other users and we have users field as well and we are storing the password in, by encryption by encrypting them basically. So this is basically our database. I'm using MongoDB database in this application. Also, I can log out and uh, log in with a different account. Let's say if I want to log in with uh, Aman Kumar, if I log in with that. So the task of Aman Kumar will be available to me. You can see he has two incomplete tasks and he can also see his completed task, which is maths assignment. So this is how it works. So let's meet in the next video with a starting screen. We'll be building all of that with the scratch. Okay, I didn't tell you about this search. So this is a dynamic search which we can use to search the application or search for our task, let's say Naruto. So it will show me the task which mentions Naruto. If I search for maths, so this is the task which mentions uh, maths. So I'm searching by the title. So that is basically the case. So this is it for this video. I hope you got something in the next video. We'll be starting start building this application. Uh, stay tuned with us. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.